Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we'll be torque testing small yet mighty suspension electric unicycles, the Bigode C8 versus the brand new Nosfed Aero. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. So, huge thanks to monocoa.pl for letting me um, abuse the Big Goat C8. You can rent it in Warsaw. If you feel like you want to learn to ride on a wheel or if you want to just check out other wheels, monocoa.pl. And when it comes to the Nosfet Aero, I got it from Nosfet directly through One Ride. Uh, One Ride is your EU distributor for electric unicycles. So if you want to get any electric unicycles, feel free to use my coupon code WRONGWAY to get a 5% discount. So we do start with a 30 degree incline, but we will move our way up to this 45 degree wall, which is absolutely terrifying. And I never want to ride up it, but hey, we got to test the performance. So starting with the 30 degree incline, I really didn't think that this would be a challenge for either one of those wheels. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not not steep. This is very much steep and a difficulty for most electric vehicles, but not for electric unicycles. The Bigot C8 goes up very easily. However, it does dip at times without beeping. Sadly, I don't have the sound here because I messed up with the audio, but the C8 does that without any issues. But if you push too much, it might dip a little, meaning that it loses a little bit of power in those quick power bursts. Now, when it comes to the Nosfet Aero, I felt already a lot more comfortable on it when doing this incline, so I could go back up in reverse. I was also quite astounded by its climbing abilities. It goes up even easier than the Bigot C8, and if you try to overpower it, it doesn't dip, but it notifies you of an alarm, beeps, that you are using the edge of the power. But what happens if you're a heavier rider? I tried going up this incline on the Bigot C8 while holding an additional 25 kilograms of weight, the Nosfet Aero. And the C8 does it without any issues. But you have to keep in mind you don't want to make those quick jittery moves. Now the Nosfet Aero had an even more difficult task because now the total rider weight went up to 106 kilograms. And believe it or not, this little tiny rocket just flies up. What a machine! So it was easier to climb this incline with the arrow. It also has the alarms to back it up. And while doing the pendulum here, it also beeped because it started to overheat after a while. There is a little bit more detail to batteries and sag, so be on the lookout for my main review on this wheel. Well, you can even subscribe to not miss out on it if you want to find out more about the Nosfet Aero. Temperature drops so quickly. Okay, so we are at my classic 40 degree incline. It's a lot in percent, I can't remember. It's actually crazy that a couple years ago, this was like undoable for me and now it's just like a very routine test. So let's see how the C8 performs. Hop. All right. That was uh, a little bit of grip lacking, but let's go down, hopefully in one piece. Uh, so the C8, plenty of torque going up. I think it was losing a little bit of grip on the top. <laughs> well, definitely was. <laughs> in any case, um, I could feel that it like spins out and then it keeps spinning out. And with the arrow, I think it will be different. So a great climber nevertheless, but let's see how the arrow does it. Okay, so the arrow, I actually noticed it has like ridges here, which probably will give me quite a bit more grip uh, compared to the street-ish looking, well, street tire that was, oh man, God. Like, I'll show you a picture what Serge is doing. Like, He's the operator, the camera operator. Nevertheless, okay, let's go up here. Hop. Oh. All right. I felt quite a bit more headroom. Whoa! It was uh, overpowering on the braking on the bottom. So even though this has, this has two parallels, I, I guess it has pretty good safety margins. All right, so the arrow very much very controlled i could still hear the tire struggling a little bit on this incline but uh 
feels very tactile, very responsive. So if I would, were to choose which wheel I should go up this incline on, I'd probably choose this one. What about you? So it's just showing that uh, it's even tough to go up there. Running up, come on, come on, come on. Oh man, awesome job. All right, so 45 degrees. Is the sun showing me the path here? Is this the path of enlightenment climbing? I don't know, 100% grade. No less, no more, 100%. And I might fail, so let's try a couple times, I guess. Let's try. What? It didn't even flinch. <laughs> Nosfit? Respect. Okay, I go down before I think too much. Whee! Oh. Scraped with the kickstand, but I'm well. One more time for good measure. Whoa! <laughs> this thing is crazy. This thing just goes. Whoa. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Never. Like usually the wheels spin out and they're like, eh, I don't want to go up. And you're just like. Bleh. All right. So I'll try just a little bit with the C8. I know it has less torque after all of the tests I've done prior today. Uh, but at least I want to get a feel for it or show you guys how it performs on such a very steep incline. Now, in day to day life, no one cares. <laughs> no one would encounter something like that. But this just tells you like how much headroom you have left in your electric unicycle. It's just better to have more torque. With that said, this wheel is also meant for renting. I don't want to destroy it. <laughs> so let's just try a couple times to see how the torque sort of behaves on this wheel with a smaller run up. Actually, it feels pretty good. Okay. Did you see it? It went like bloop. Can I can try maybe slightly higher and then go down backwards, just uh, so I don't destroy the wheel. So let's go slightly higher. Whoa. So potentially, maybe it could go up, but it's very much on the limit. It feels very, actually, very, feels very good. It feels like it has grip. So I might give it a shot. I don't know, it's up to you really. All right, so I got a, got a green light to test it out. So. Let's see if I can make it. Worst case is I just ride down backwards or I stand somewhere on the top. So let's see. Oh, it got up. Uh, I think it's actually not safe to go down because the, I can hit the kickstand pretty hard. So I won't go down. It felt like I have less headroom on this wheel definitely. And I need to be a lot more careful not to slip out, not to have a pedal dip, but nevertheless, with a little bit of speed, 45 degree incline, also gets a pass. This is the lame route down, in case you never saw it. I think actually the new wheels, very little inertia in them, in the tire to make it spin. So I feel like I get plenty of control and plenty of grip. Maybe it's the lesser weight, but on the, on the arrow, like the arrow is just crazy because I feel like it's mostly the smaller diameter motor, lighter motor well because it's smaller and still a huge tire to get you plenty of grip but nevertheless like look at that 2025 we get wheels that cost around 2200 uh, euro and weigh around 25 kilograms to 30 kilograms and they can do anything so this is pretty sick and if you're still here leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this i'll see you mesdames et messieurs en prochain vidéo. Au revoir.